In today's episode, we are traveling to the heart of Italy's culinary excellence, Emilia Romagna, a region steeped in rich history, gastronomic wonders, and the birthplace of some of the world's most revered delicacies, like Parmesan cheese, Parma ham, Bolognese sauce, or mortadelle. In our quest to unravel the culinary treasures hidden within this remarkable region, our journey takes us to the captivating town of Modena, where tradition and excellence converge in the form of Modena balsamic vinegar. The small town is rich with amazing history and the memory of inventors like Enzo Ferrari, the founder of the famous car brand, as well as artisans preserving unique products that sometimes take decades to make. Among these, balsamic vinegar is maybe the most famous but also the most misunderstood condiment in the world. Ask anyone and they will tell you that they know balsamic vinegar, but actually what they have had is as far removed from the real deal as a donkey is from a horse. To explore the history and secrets of this black gold, we'll go to the Giusti family's Acetaria, the oldest remaining balsamic vinegar producer in Modena, with more than 400 years of history. In this episode, we embark on a journey to demystify the secrets behind the creation of this black gold, uncovering the nuances of its production at the Giusti family's estate. From the vineyards to the aging cellars, we delve into the craftsmanship that transforms humble grapes into the nectar that graces the finest tables worldwide. So fasten your seatbelts as we traverse the picturesque landscapes of Emilia Romagna, immersing ourselves in the aroma of balsamic vinegar, savoring the history of Modena, and unraveling the culinary tapestry that makes this region a true gastronomic haven. Our story starts a few kilometers from Modena, in the beautiful Italian countryside. The Giusti estate is a beautiful cottage, full of reminders of the family's history and great vinegar barrels. The company moved there in the 90s, from their original shop in the heart of Modena, to acquire more space and properly welcome visitors looking to know more about their famous vinegar. It is in the main building that we are meeting with Claudio Giusti, the 17th generation of the Giusti family and current CEO of the company, who had agreed to tell us more about the history of balsamic vinegar in Modena. Balsamic vinegar is a product that can be only made in Modena. It's actually an invasion of this area. It's protected today from a PGI, protected geographical indication, and a PDO, product derivation of origin. So uh, it comes from the grapes of the area. It is uh, transformed and aged here according to a very complicated system, uh, which makes it unique on from here. Balsamic vinegar has been made in Modena for surely centuries, maybe a thousand years, maybe two. There are not really written documentations. We all know that it's a product extremely typical from the area. Apparently, it might have been born already at the time of the Romans, where the people of this era, they were cooking the grape juice to make the grape last more. And that grape juice, going off, so from a mistake, was becoming vinegar, but a very special vinegar. The vinegar started from grape juice, so already sweet and already interesting. And then the first witnesses are maybe from a thousand years ago, in which it was already known as a very nice present. Over the centuries, the Giusti family has mastered the art of crafting balsamic vinegar. The what sets this culinary elixir apart from usual vinegars is its fabrication process, which with any wine vinegar starts from grapes. Indeed, the journey begins in the vineyards, where specific grape varieties, mostly Lombrusco, Trebbiano, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Uni Blanc, are harvested. The choice of grapes is crucial, as it significantly influences the character of the final product. After being pressed, the grape produces a juice known as must, which is gently simmered over an open flame or in copper cauldrons. The liquid never reaches a boiling point, 
in order to preserve the quality of the grapes. The slow reduction process concentrates the sugars and flavors of the grapes, creating a thick, sweet syrup. The cooked must is then allowed to ferment naturally, transforming sugars into alcohol, and then acidify, turning into vinegar. This fermentation period is a critical phase that contributes to the complexity of the vinegar. But the magic of traditional balsamic vinegar lies later, in its extended aging process, typically carried out in a series of wooden barrels made out of different woods, called bateria. The vinegar is transferred from one barrel to another over the years, allowing it to absorb the nuances of the wood and gradually develop its unique flavor profile. This aging process, known as solera, can span over a decade or more. So first of all, we fill all of them with the same yellow vinegar coming from the big badesso, up to the 80% of the total capacity of each barrel. Then, we put a piece of fabric on top to protect it from flies and dust, but it has to ferment, to oxidate, to evaporate, so we don't close it with the meat, okay? And we store this bacteria, this set of barrels in the end, where it's really hot during summer and really, really cold during winter. So, see us in the yard? There, in the attic, opened for a long time, we'll have a loss due to the evaporation of water. And so Beppe, our master reading our maker, he takes this too, this pipe that here in Morgan is called Lara, which means teeth, because it steals the vinegar. And we seal some vinegar from this barrel to fill the small one, okay, to compensate the loss due to the evaporation. And so here, yeah, here we have a part missing because of the evaporation, and a part missing because we use it to fill the small one. And so we take some vinegar from the third barrel to fill the second one, and so on, until the last barrel of the set. The last one will be filled with a younger vinegar coming from the big badessa, and the big badessa, the first cast, will be filled with, co with co great must. This process means that there is no single year vintage for vinegar. They are all a blend of multiple years. With the evaporation, barrels have to be refilled constantly in order to not end up with a solidified vinegar that looks like a huge dark rock. As such, the age of the labels of the bottles are determined by the average of the ages of the vinegars making up the final product. Beyond this aging process, one more element is particularly important when making balsamic vinegar, the age of the casks. The older the barrels are, the better the vinegar will be and the quality of Justi's balsamic vinegar is no doubt related to the huge collection of old casks, the largest in the region, and maybe even the world. The great weakness of our company is uh, uh, owning uh, more than 600 casks that date back to 1700 and 1800. Very differently that wine, uh, balsamic vinegar gets better in old casks. The cask that we used, the older, the better. And that makes uh, uh, the balsamic more aromatic, more full, because it needs to take a deep flavor from the wood, and it takes uh, decades and decades. So a new cask is not good, an old food is great. And the balsamic vinegar moves uh, from different woods, uh, from uh, juniper to acacia, to oak, to mulberry, to ash, and taking cherry, taking distinct flavors and different aromas. This is really great, and the older the cast, the more the flavor that it can give. This very long and complicated process is what characterizes real traditional PDO balsamic vinegar. However, nowadays most people never had the opportunity to try the real deal. What most people know as balsamic vinegar is often an industrial PGI version with a high wine vinegar content. There are actually two products. One is called the traditional balsamic vinegar of modern IBOP or PDO, the one in a small bottle like this one from Tujaro. And this is made only from grape juice and it's uh, aged uh, either 12 or 25 years and more in very small casts that, are, that foresee a very complicated system 
of aging or for the gas or the very small. Uh, then in the market, there is also the uh, more common was something that got more than a PGI, of which the quality is very uh, large to the spectrum because uh, you can have mass market product, of course, uh, or you can have a wonderful and very top product. Uh, as I just said, we make only the part of the high level. And so, for example, here there is our line of uh, Balsamic vinegar of more than a PGI that is made with uh, also part of wine vinegar. Age anyway, it can be aged in small, big casks, uh, it can be cut with very old balsamic vinegar. And uh, so it is a product that can be found light or can be found anyway, thick, uh, full of aroma, full of flavors. The Juicy family and the history of balsamic vinegar, especially since the end of the 19th century, are intertwined and Claudio's ancestors have been instrumental in making balsamic vinegar known worldwide. But let's take a step back and dig into this incredible story. The Giustiz family's love affair with balsamic vinegar can be traced back to 1605, when the names of Giuseppe and Francesco Maria Giusti, managing small local businesses, appeared in the ledger of the Duke of Modena. The Juicy family were butchers, with a small shop in the center of Modena, which still exists today, even if it no longer belongs to the Juicy family. In the attic of the shop, like many modernist families, the Juicy's were aging balsamic vinegar. For many years, they were content to remain a local business, trading balsamic vinegar on the side. It is only during the 19th century that things started to change and that the Giusti family finally made its way into history through the work of one man, Giuseppe Giusti. First time they sold meat, they sold cured meat, salami, in the shop, in Modena, and they took care of their patria, of their batch, filled with vinegar. They started making more and more vinegar. Uh, but vinegar for a long time was only known and used here in Modena. So, two centuries later, Giuseppe Giusti, while the ancestors of the family started traveling all around Europe to let people know this special vinegar that was made only in Modena. It was something really innovative at the time. So he went to Florence in 1861. Florence is not far from here, it's in Tuscany, but people didn't know vinegar, and so he let people taste the 90, 90 years old Vasily vinegar he received from the ancestors. So he carried with him this barrel, a tree, filled with a 90 years old balsamic vinegar. And people were starting to appreciate this special vinegar. So he kept on traveling all around Europe. And he attended many expeditions in the ascent all around Europe. So he went under the Eiffel Tower in 1889, then under the Brussels, So during that time, Juicy Vinegar won 14 golden medals. So it was starting to get more and more popular. But Sunny Vinegar from Modena, as well as Juicy Vinegar. And in 1929, the King of Italy chose Juicy Family as the official supplier of balsamic vinegar of Modena for the royal family. So from that moment on, we were allowed to wear the emblem, the white or red cross of the Savoy, in each bottle of our vinegar. In addition to this large marketing campaign, Giuseppe Giusti was also the first person in 1863 to publish an official recipe of Modena balsamic vinegar. More than a real recipe per se, he wrote down guidelines for making good balsamic vinegar, including grape varieties, location, as well as the barrels, numbers, and wood essences. However, the main ingredient for him that he highlighted was time, as the minimum aging for traditional balsamic vinegar is 12 years. The longer the vinegar is aged in the barrels, the better it will taste. Across the years, the Giusti family has become the figurehead of the balsamic vinegar of Modena, spreading awareness of this unique product all over the world. They are famous for the quality of their products and their long history, 
But far from being stagnant, Justy is also a deeply innovative company that, while protecting the traditional recipes, continues to think outside the box and creates new products out of balsamic vinegar. Claudio, in particular, has shouldered this effort when he took the head of the company and he is now very proud of how it has evolved over the years. My personal life is that uh, I have been an engineer, I am a, a musician as well, so I've been doing other things uh, and I have started to get into the family company when I was already 33, so I was already a manager in a consulting company. But I, was, uh, I fell in love with the idea of taking over this uh, old and small business uh, to working and to being able to make it international, to make it more organized, to, to still maintain a very high quality of the product, but to make a modern company. Today, it is a company uh, of very young people with an average age of 30 people. We are 70. We have uh, uh, places where we sell all over the world. We are selling 70 countries. We also have our own shops in Italy, in Modena, Bologna, Milan. And we have this wonderful museum where we are now, where we welcome more than 30,000 visitors a year. Balsamic vinegar is a very traditional sector and product, of course. So in making the balsamic vinegar, it's a bit like making wine. You have to respect the territory, you have to respect the grapes, and any use of technology in pressing the grapes in cookies is only welcome. Nevertheless, it is a product whose flavor must uh, remain uh, as possible, as close to what it was in origin. And interestingly, the 400 years of history were masters of it. Innovation goes also through the creation of other products like uh, uh, white condiments that are made like balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar in which resulted the raspberry juice, fig juice uh, or truffle, and products around the world of balsamic vinegar. For example, in Justy we make a wonderful panettone in which the balsamic vinegar resulted in the pastry, in the dough, and in the, um, in the raisins and even get a cream inside. And then we make chocolates with balsamic vinegar inside. We make pearls, which is like a caviar of balsamic vinegar. There is a, a whole uh, a new line that we have studied and we're studying now of what happens to product once they are put inside the cask of balsamic vinegar. Not with the liquid, but with an old cask. In order to take advantage of this wonderful cask that we have and that are working, have been working in Justy for making balsamic vinegar for centuries, literally for centuries, we are studying what happens when balsamic vinegar goes inside the cask. Uh, sorry, when uh, other products like chocolate stay inside the cask for months and they take aromas. And so we have produced a new line of products that are actually filled with the aroma of the casks. Despite this great success, this industry, like any other, is not without problems. Like counterfeited products, with bottles of traditional balsamic vinegar PDO usually selling for more than 100 euros, it is no surprise that people want to take advantage of the credulity of unaware customers. This emphasizes another big challenge in this industry, which is the need to educate people to the history and uniqueness of the balsamic vinegar of Modena. The challenges that we are facing as a balsamic vinegar and above all as Giusti are mainly uh, the ones of being able to tell the product. This balsamic vinegar, and especially our balsamic vinegar, which is in a high level, requires to be appreciated from the consumer to be understood as a great wine. You need to know where it comes from, how it is, and above all, what is the story. There's so much that you can tell about this product and we actually love to do it. So we love to take the time and to, for our consumer, for our client, to have the time to listen to us and study together with us uh, what comes with this great product. As we bid farewell to the Juicy family and their centuries-old tradition of crafting exquisite balsamic vinegar in Modena, we are reminded of the rich tapestry of flavors and history that awaits those who venture into the heart of Emilia Romagna. The Juicy family's dedication to preserving and perfecting their craft has resulted in a product that transcends mere condiment status offering a sensory journey through time and tradition with each drop. So to all Epicurean adventurers and aficionados of fine flavors, we extend an invitation, journey to Modena, savor the elixir of the Juicy family's labor, and discover the true essence of balsamic vinegar.
a treasure worth savoring, sharing and celebrating for generations to come. <laughs>